Hello and welcome to Knowledge by Nature. It's that time of year again when I am setting up my new planner for the next year. Last year, I found this homeschool planner by School Nest. I absolutely loved it. It worked like perfect for me all year long. So it was no question what planner I was going to use. But then she surprised us with this new cover. I have a whole flip through on this. I'll put it right here. I have a whole flip through on this one. I'll put it right here. They are slightly different, but they're very, very similar. Love them both. And I'm excited to use this cover. It's absolutely beautiful. So, which I loved this color too. I mean, they're both gorgeous, but she's come out with even more options. So if neither one of these are your like color scheme, check out her site. I'll put it right here. Not affiliated, not linked, anything like that. Um, I just love them. So you can check them out, look at all of the covers that she has. But before we jump into all of this, welcome or welcome back. But if this is your first time here, I am a homeschool mom to a fourth grader. We love all things books, homeschool, and sharing our journey with you. And if that is something that you are interested in, I would love if you consider hitting that subscribe button and give me a thumbs up if you enjoy this video. So yes, let's get started. Fourth grade, here we come. I have my old one out because I do want to reference some of the things and I have already started doing a little bit of this. I've kind of worked on it whenever I had time this summer, which has not been very often. So I kind of have a mod podge of creativity, I guess you could say. You can see I started out um, doing my months. So I went and I put like some washi tape on them and kind of did this pencil motif thing. Then like later on, I came over here and I did the calendar. You can see it's totally different. So yes. Oh, and then in the front, I just had some stickers and I just kind of put some stickers randomly all over the place. And then I used some stamps. And so yeah, it's um, kind of weird this year, but it just kind of shows everything as I went through the summer on preparing this. My biggest thing that I do is I create some goals and I keep them simple because I don't want to like bog myself down with a whole list of goals. I really just mostly, I want to advance forward in whatever we do. If we are better at the end of the year than we were at the beginning, then I've accomplished the year. It's been great. You know, we have moved forward. We have advanced forward. And so that is my biggest thing is I just want to make sure that we are going forward. And then I always like to have some sort of mindset for the year. And this year it's quality over quantity. So in the past, I've had a huge amount of resources, all sorts of just stuff and I want to cut back on the stuff and just add in more quality. Um, that might mean maybe I'm spending a little bit more on certain things and that's all, not always necessary, but I'm just giving an example here that maybe I would spend a little bit more on something that gave me a little bit more quality for the amount of stuff. You know, I, I don't know. I'm just, if I think something is going to be like a really, really good fit, but it costs more, or I can get multiple resources, I just want to take out a bunch of the stuff and just pare it down um, more from less. You know, I just, that's kind of my mindset this year. And then there are just different um, individual goals and scheduling that I want to kind of add into. So the next page, I've just kind of put in our scheduling. Last year, we started this block loop schedule. I think last year I did a video where we were doing like this block schedule. I put it here, but a couple of years back, I started looping and looping totally works for us. As much as I would love to do every single subject every day, it doesn't get done. Um, I just, I can't keep up with that. And so we loop it. So history, geography, science, typing, and maybe Spanish. Let me zoom in here. 
just so you guys can see just a little bit better here. Um, I have Spanish as a question mark because we're going to be doing co-op and I think we're going to get to do Spanish and co-op this year. So that's why I'm not sure that we'll necessarily be looping it, but we may be looping it, you know, outside of the home. And then I have like these, um, this routine. I just kind of want to complete just the cores first, like maybe start of a morning, get those big cores done. Um, I'm talking language arts, uh, which is reading and writing. Um, and then math, those are my cores. And then one thing I asked her, if we could change anything this year compared to last year, what would you like to do? And she wants to add more games. So I have made a note here that add more games to the week. So I want to make sure that I'm having at least one game every single week. I would like to have more, but at an absolute minimum, we're having some sort of game, play-based something every single week. Um, we're gonna have our weekly co-op again. And then I'm debating on, are we gonna have school on Friday? Like maybe every other week, take Friday off or maybe every other Friday only do math and read. So I'm just kind of a little bit of a brain dump for the year two is what I like to do with that. I've got my core subjects here, which is for me, math, reading, and language arts, which includes spelling, writer, writing, and grammar. The, these are my core subjects. This is what I want to kind of focus on, maybe honing in, getting that done first thing of the morning, and then coming over here to the loop subjects. And then we have all of our extras that we're going to be doing throughout the year, which is piano, gymnastics, art, basketball, horse lessons. And if we add more, I will add it. Now, this is where I stopped the last time I was adding to this. And I want to work on life skills. And one of those would be kind of her taking responsibility for some of her schoolwork. Um, I want to be able to have some independent work that she can do. And one of the ways that I'm going to be incorporating that is I think we're going to try the video subscription from Dimensions Math and kind of put that in her court. Like just see how she could do being responsible for a few things. Now that doesn't mean I'm not still going to be helping and doing things sometimes, but that's just an example of I want to add some independence. Um, I am using my mild liners. I love these. They work very well in this planner. And then I also have all of my little um, paper mate pens that I like very much also. So again, this is just kind of somewhat of a brain dump, but I'm just going to put um, maybe independence here. I'm actually going to put like independence as slash responsibility. So now I have that listed there. Um, it's a lot deeper than just that, but that's going to kind of like bring that out. That's something that I want to kind of work on. Um, a few other life skills is maybe let's work on some cooking. Um, we did that a little bit last year and then it just kind of fell off. Um, we didn't continue to do it and then she gets nervous doing a few things again. So I just want to bring this back to the front and then I have a third dot. So apparently I was thinking of something else. Let's see. Really, this just kind of ties in with this responsibility, but I want to work on getting those certain chores done without mom constantly reminding things like that so i'm just going to add those there and this is kind of just a good look at what i'm going for for this year all right up next is we just have the calendar i initially had put 2023 here 2024 here because i had actually like messed this part up and but i was able to cover it up but I think I am going to go ahead and leave this here and I'm just going to put August because I had all intentions of starting in July when I started working on this back in June. But that really, we started on the 31st and so hmm, I don't really need to put a field trip for July. But I am going to go ahead and write the months of the year here 
and just try to remember that when we take a field trip, I wanna come back and log that. And that's something else I would like to add for this year is more memory keeping, keeping up with like the fun stuff. So it's more like a journal. Now I don't have a ton of time to do that, but I would like to add as much to it as I can, even if I'm just jotting down different notes. So I'm going to add the months here and then I'll be back with you. All right, so I have added all the months here. And so now I'm just going to add just a couple of little dots here to just, I don't know, spruce it up. I'm not sure. All right, and now I will just, you know, try to remember to keep up with the different field trips because our co-op may take field trips. We may do field trips, and this is just like a little reminder of some fun things that we went to do. All right, up next is I have another blank sheet and then the attendance log. Now, I do have to keep an attendance. I have to have so many days per year, and this is super duper helpful for me, so I am glad that she does this. So let's see here, July. Since we only schooled one day in July, I'm just gonna go ahead and start with August, but I'm gonna do it similar to how I did last year. Let me show you. So last year I did a JA here for to represent July and August because we took a vacation in August, I think it was, yeah, yeah. That, that's what it was. We took a vacation in August, and so I knew I would have some days for July and some days for August, so I just split it. I'm going to do the exact same thing again. That way I count my one day on July. I'll just half it like I did this, and then everything else will be for August because obviously I didn't do what I had hoped to do for this year. So I'm just going to do all of this up at the top and I'm just really feeling the nature-y vibe here. So I'm gonna go with the greens, I think. All right, and just like that, I added all of the months. And what I will do is I actually want to get a pen for this one. So what I'll do is I'll just half the 31st right there. And so our first day, was right here for July and then I will jump up here and I like to count as I go not necessary but it's just helpful to see um, I think I want to do that again this year I mean I've done it for quite a few years so I will probably go ahead it just kind of helps me know without like counting down here I mean I could add up all of these but like I would see I'm getting close to like the hundredth day or something like that. So I think I will go ahead and do that. And so I'm just going to put number two right here because on the first, we are doing our second day of school. And then I will get my colored pencils and I will color these in. Last year, I did pretty much all yellow. This year, I may like color code the months with like colored pencils. I don't know, we'll see. One last thing is I just halved down here at the bottom because July, we did do one day of school. So I wish Monday wouldn't have been on July 31st and then this would have been a lot more orderly, but it's fine. It'll be fine. Okay, next we have classes. And so that would be like maybe anything that you're doing outside of the home. Like for us, we do out school classes. And so I will probably, oh, we do art. So I will probably add those sort of things in here. And then our curriculum overview. So what I do with this is I label like math, reading or language arts. I break it all out and then I list what we're using. And that way through the year, if things change or as things change, I can go in there and I can add them in there. All right, so this is what I have so far is I just have math, language arts, writing, history, and geography. So with language arts, I'm gonna put like um, any special reader that we have, all of our spelling, um, our handwriting, cursive things, I'm gonna put that all in there. Writing is going to be actually what we're using to write. 
So if you're interested to see what's gonna go in these boxes, make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss our fourth grade curriculum. Um, it bled over just a little bit here, but there's so many of these pages that I don't need. Now, if you had multiple students, you would probably use all of these, but for me, it's a little bit of excess. So I may like paste some pictures or different things in here. And then I carried over with our science, logic and technology. That might be like typing, coding, things like that. So I thought that might be a good option for like just adding that because we may do some coding or different out school classes that might go up underneath that. So I just did that. Then I have these extra pages that I haven't done and then we come to the fun book list. Now this is where um, I'm going to need to reference my other planner a little bit because I didn't get everything read that I thought would be cool to read. So I'm going to split this up just a little bit differently this year. I think this section I'm going to leave for her, her independent reads and this over the here. I'm going to add for our read alouds. So I will probably put a section here of ideas for read alouds, check them off if we do them, but otherwise these will be where we actually enter in what we have read. And what I have done in the past is I just, if we read it, I checked it off and then I put the little date there. That way I knew when we read it, things like that, because I wrote a lot of these at the beginning of the year, so we didn't necessarily get to them or we didn't finish them, things like that. So they won't always go in order of what we read, but that's why I'm thinking I'll try to just keep the ideas to this side and then here I will add all of the things that we actually do read. And then again, I'm gonna leave this for her. So I will try to write down all of the books that she reads. The curriculum progress, once I get all of our curriculums wrote down here, I didn't really keep up with it last year. I don't know for sure that I'll do this, but I may write it down there. Um, somebody said to check it like every six weeks or something like that, and maybe I will. I'll just kind of come in, put it in there. Again, I can open up my curriculum and see where I am in the progress. So there's a lot of pages of these. So I may cover these up again with this like memory keeper that I'm thinking about. This could be a neat place to either add like pictures of books that we read, like some of our favorites and note things down about that or about our field trips. Like I could even put a little box and cover this up and be like, field trip to the museum and make little notes and add little pictures. So I don't know that I'm gonna use this for the curriculum progress, just because I think I might could get more out of it by using it a different way. Then here you can see I kind of color coded my months. Here we have this little month in review, which I didn't have in the last one. And so this will again be really neat. I at least want to do a highlight of like, what did we do in July? So for us, we were really busy. We had basketball camps and horse shows and family up. And so I think since I have the space for July, I'm gonna put a bunch of pictures in here and just, even though we didn't school in July, this is what we were doing in the July before we started fourth grade. And then we come over here to August. So you can see I did the little washi tape along the side for all of that, did a little bit of coloring one day. And this one actually, I have 13 months. So I actually get to go all the way to July of 2024 with that one before we start the actual first week. So here you can see our first week. I put that over here. I made a little note as to what her little first day gifts were. And then I want to maybe work on our beehive study this week, possibly, or roll it over into the next one. And then we are trying out the Dimensions video subscription. Put down the little things of our schedule, dated them, and then I did some slight little planning here for yesterday. I haven't done anything for Tuesday yet, but we will. This is how I'm planning to use it again this year. I liked it a lot. And then in the very back of the book, it's just things that will get used at the end of the year where I am reevaluating the things that we did for this year, what changes might need to happen, things like that. 
So this is how I'm setting it up. And as you can see, it's just a little bit of everything this year, but I do wanna get the book list all fixed up a little bit, but I don't know what I wanna do with that. So if I decide pretty soon, I'll put it in this video. If not, thanks so much for spending some time with me. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, give me a thumbs up, consider hitting that subscribe button and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.